Welcome to the studio, it's Froil here. I'm so glad you've joined me and I'm so glad to be back. <laughs> so how do you get inspired and jumpstart your creativity when you've had a bit of a break? Maybe you've been sick or maybe you've had friends visiting or relatives staying over. <laughs> Or maybe you've just had a really hard time and you haven't been able to get into your creative space. Or perhaps like me, you just moved across the country. <laughs> How do you get re-inspired, get back into your art supplies and start creating again? Well, actually, this week I haven't been able to create or touch any paint. It's been very tragic. But I have been watching the Everything Art Care December by Kasha and the team, and I have absolutely loved it. Every morning I've sat on the couch, looked at my pile of boxes to unpack, but first of all, I watched the beautiful video. There's a two minute nature clip. <sighs> which really does relax your mind and put you at ease. And then there's a fabulous art journal spread, which you can watch and be inspired by. I've loved it. I've had the best time this week watching each morning of the prompt. So today, that's what I'm going to do because I think it's a really good way to jumpstart your creativity. The prompts are already there. And did I mention the art class is free? <laughs> Baby, you can't get more affordable than free. So there'll be a link in the description under the video. Have a look, click on it. It's free. Jump in. The class runs until the 31st of December every day. There's a new prompt. There's a nature clip. <sighs> and I've absolutely loved it. Now, I'm going to do the first few prompts today all in one art journal spread because I'm just like that and I want to. This Care December, this edition is blue. So I pulled out all of the blue paints that I could find in the drawers. My studio is not entirely set up, but it's set up enough that I can play with some paints today. I think one of the hardest things about starting to make art when you haven't been creative for a while is knowing how to begin. So what I like about this class, it's an art journal class, so hello, there's no pressure. Just pull out your art journal, get started, and the prompts are already there. Prompt number one is setting the intention, and my intention today is touch as many blue paints as possible. <laughs> Because I've been having withdrawals. I know, I'm addicted to creating and touching paint and making a mess. <laughs> and that's okay, I'm going to keep this addiction. Now I'm going to put some on my art journal page. I haven't gessoed it. Ultramarine blue, in case you want to know. It's a Dilusions Creative Art Journal, so it should cope fairly well with the acrylic paint. And that one was the Brilliant Blue. These are the Liquitex Basics. Love them because they're cost efficient. They're great colors, beautiful pigments. That was Light Blue Violet, and we've got some Cobalt Blue. I'm just going to put little dabs of blue beautiful blue paint on my page and then we're going to see where we go from there. What about some blue black or indigo? Yes, let's get a little bit of drama going on. <laughs> That's going to be fabulous. And then I'm just literally going to, oh, powder blue. This is a Reeves paint. That's a really affordable brand as well. I like it. We're going to mix it on the page and see what we create. Now, the thing with blue is they're all very friendly. It's a very nice color and there's so many different shades and tints and tones, but all of these beautiful blue colors will play nicely together. In the beginning of the class on Kasha's Care December, there's a fabulous hand out there on the synopsis of blue in the symbolism of the color and what it means. It's really cool. Have a look. I've so enjoyed it this week. Now I'm just mixing up some of the blues on my page, not thinking too much, just really happy to touch the paint. <laughs> yes, I know we already moved this year, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> but sometimes in life, I don't know man, maybe that doesn't happen for you, but sometimes in life to get to where you really wanna go to, it requires a few steps. So 
The last step led us to this step and this is the step that we really wanted to get to. Now we're here feeling very happy. And we're still in a little bit of a mess because you know, it does take a little bit of a while to unpack all your stuff. And we have downside from a four bedroom house to a three bedroom apartment. So you can imagine how much stuff we had to sort out. Right, so and what about a little bit of phthalo blue? Yes, that's going to make it a little bit more deeper on this side. Now, I like to use baking paper under the page when I'm working in my art journal because I do tend to run off the edge, go over the side, and the baking paper just helps to contain the paint from messing up the other pages. What about a little pastel arctic blue? I know, doesn't it sound amazing? Now, seeing as we are doing these beautiful blue colors, which I love so much, and I have really enjoyed that little nature clip, have a look here. This is beautiful Napier, where we've moved to, and this is one of my favorite areas of the city, down at Marine Parade. It's absolutely magnificent. My mum doesn't like it so much because, yes, there is black sand and rocks on the beach. It's not the sandy white beaches, but I absolutely love this spot. It makes me so happy. Napier really is a beautiful place and I'm really happy that we were able to move here. I'm pretty sure over the next few weeks that you're going to see quite a few more little snippets of Napier popping up along the way as I start creating from the influence of this fabulous place. Now all I'm doing is brushing all of those blue colors onto my page, mixing it up as I go. I really like these brush strokes. I like the texture that it makes. And it's really fun. It's really therapeutic. What I love about the Care December art class is it's all about you enjoying your creativity, taking a moment to look after yourself, to stop to relax, to breathe for a moment, to let go all of that stress of December, because December's normally stressed, even when you don't move houses, because <laughs> that's really stressful. But December can be quite stressful. Actually, it really doesn't matter what it is. Maybe it's Care January for you. Maybe it's Care March. <laughs> I don't think it really technically matters what month it is. It's about stopping, looking after yourself, relaxing, creating some beautiful art with really simple prompts that's free to watch, to get your creativity moving, to be inspired, and to really just allow yourself to take the time to create. It's really good for your soul. It's really good for your mind. And when you're happy, it's going to help everybody else around you. <laughs> I know. Okay, so we've got a beautiful expanse of blues and then I'm going to let this layer dry before we put on the next layer, which is mm, prompt number two is blue threads. Now you'll have to have a look at Kasha's lesson with the blue thread and the technique she uses with the string and the ink. It's really fun. Check that out because it really is worth watching. I'm going to go and pull out some Kozo paper and I'm going to use the threads of the new amazing threads paper because I think I want to put that on in collage to add the next layer on my pages and these are going to have to dry so I'll go and find that. Where did I put it? <laughs> it's here somewhere. Can anybody tell me where I put those papers? Oh man. Right, so I found my Kozo paper and it wasn't easy. <laughs> it's really hard setting up a new studio, putting everything back in place and finding it. Oh man. Anyway, the other day, well, it wasn't the other day, it was weeks ago. <laughs> I, was, I found by accident that if you pull apart this beautiful Kozo threads paper, like I know it's logical, all of the threads come apart. Look, look how cool that is. I absolutely love the texture of these threads. They're absolutely beautiful. I know it's made with threads, Cotton threads are woven into the paper and that's how it's made. I knew that, but 
It wasn't until I pulled it apart that I <laughs> even thought about that. Anyway, I'm loving all these threads. So I'm going to put the beautiful threads with the paper onto my glorious blue background. Now, my background is still a bit wet, but does that matter? No, not to me, does it? I'm going to stick this on with some matte medium. And it'll probably get very blue, but it'll be really textured. And I really like texture. So this is for my prompt two um, blue thread. Because by the time I stick it on, especially while it's still wet, it's going to be very blue. And that's pretty cool. I'm loving this idea. <sighs> you just got to love it. You've just got to allow yourself the time to create, to play with what inspires you, with Simple prompts, one color. Well, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six shades of one color. <laughs> All the blues play together. They're very, it's a very friendly color. You can't muck it up. A little bit of paper, some texture, and we're away. Having the most glorious time. Oh, and that leads me into prompt three. Prompt three is gratefulness. Oh my gosh, I love gratefulness because I really think being grateful leads to a happy life I'm just saying life is hard and times are tough so being a little bit grateful for what you have or where you're at or who you love or who loves you really does make you happy I'm really grateful for where we are where we've moved to right now is exactly where I want to be there's a cafe right out the front of our apartment <laughs> <laughs> yes, it makes me very happy. We walked down there yesterday, we got coffee, we had a cinnamon scroll. What's not to love? I'm grateful for so much because it was a real struggle to get here. It's a huge upheaval when you're moving, but also just acquiring the space. It was really hard to find somewhere and we got it and we're here and we're moved and I'm so incredibly grateful. Have a look at the view opposite our apartment. Isn't that just glorious? That makes me grateful. It makes me really happy to sit on my lounge and look out to that beautiful view. I'm going to put this paper somehow on this page, even though it's all very wet. Okay, so a little bit of paint and a little bit of matte medium. <laughs> and my beautiful threads paper is now down on my page. Oh, just love the texture. Look at all the lines from the threads. It's just beautiful. That was really fun pulling it apart. <laughs> right, so that leads me to the next prompt is Calm Waters. So for the next prompt of Calm Waters, I think we should add some spray inks or some liquid acrylics or something that creates that beautiful watery movement. That'd be a whole lot of fun. And also it would probably soak into the paper and into the threads and you'd see all that glorious texture. Let's put on some, hmm, well, I've got some acrylic ink in glorious white pearl. So we could drop a little bit of that on. We're going to create a bit of a flow of some watery effects. Give it a bit of a spray. Yes, I know. It's going to run everywhere. So I better get some paper towels because this could make a bit of a mess. Are we worried? Not really. It's all just blue paint. Oh, that's going to work. That's going to work. Give it a bit more of a spray. So it runs down the page and it's going to run into all the beautiful crevices of that glorious paper. Yes, <laughs> that's going to look fabulous. Now, what else have I got? I had a rummage. I've got some of the eye zinc spray in Morning Mist, which is Ooh, kind of a greeny color. I thought it was going to be blue. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know if that's a morning mist kind of color, but ah, uh, we'll put it on. It's a, what would you call that? Like, it's more of a green, don't you think? 
So I look like a morning mist. I don't know. <laughs> but it's a nice deep tone. I'll spray it in a few areas. It won't clash with the beautiful blues. So that'll be okay. What else have we got? I've got this one. This one's more blue. Blue pastel this one is. So that's going to be quite pretty. Oh yes, it is. And it's metallic, which I love. So let's spray some of that on in some areas. It just creates a different shade of blue and some more texture. And this one is sea spray. What color is the sea spray? Well, you'd expect it to be blue. I would expect it to be blue. It's blue. <laughs> it's a stain. So, you know, that, oh, she's going to go everywhere. Oh, that's nice. Now, we won't really know how magnificent this does look until it's dry. And it's going to take a fair amount of time to dry. What else do I have? I also have some of Dina Wakeley's gloss sprays. So let's add a little bit of, oh man, that's not coming out. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh, yes, a little bit of white foam on top of that. Now, don't get too carried away because it's calm waters. Calm, calm. Not likely, not likely. <laughs> What's this one? Mineral, okay. Yes, I know, I, oh, that's very fine. I did have a whole lot of fun packing all of these up, putting them in the box, carting them across the country and unpacking them again. <laughs> oh man, it's been a hectic few weeks. <gasps> that's a beautiful color. That one is marine. All right, we like marine. And it's filling in those textures. Now, when this does eventually dry in like three days, <laughs> I think if we scumble some dry brush over the top of the glorious paper, it'll look amazing. But, you know, I've got to let it dry first. All right, one more, one more. It's called Night. So I'm thinking it should be, yes, beautiful, deep blue, deep and calming. <laughs> That's what we need. Oh, loving it. Righto. Oh, yes. Oops. It's a bit over spray. But it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Baby, that is just beautiful. Okay, I'm going to let this dry now. Oh, that's glorious. And then we'll see how beautiful the textures look. We just need a bit more white pearl uh, once it's dried. And we could perhaps scumble over the top of the texture because it's beautiful. It just looks amazing with the threads paper, loving it. Now this was only four of the prompts. The Care December continues until the 31st of December, which is fabulous. And at the bargain price of free, <laughs> you really have to jump on board. Also, if you want to join me for Wonderlust next year, there's a sale price on at the moment, also until the 31st of December. So have a look at that. It's a year long, fabulous mixed media art class with weekly lessons with oh, a whole heap, like mm, 30 or 40 different teachers. I'm just one of them. And it's a really great way to increase your creativity, to develop your art skills with a whole heap of glorious teachers and different techniques. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. So have a look at the information that's also on the Everything Art website because you just might need to join us and keep creating. Right, so I'm going to let this dry. I'm backing away from my fabulous art journal. Oh, it's been so much fun playing with the beautiful paints and papers. I really have missed it so much. <laughs> right, the pages are beautiful and dry. Have a look at the incredible texture. I absolutely love it. I love the way you can see the threads on the page that come out of the glorious Kozo paper. And the paper itself is so beautifully textured with the threads embedded in them. I know, it worked really well. I left the pages overnight to dry because we went for a walk to the other side, down the road, over to the beach. It was a glorious day. Just absolutely beautiful with all of that expanse of blue. Then we had some lunch and by the time we walked back, 
and unpacked a few more boxes. Oh man, the day was done. The benefit is that the pages are completely dry and now I can move on with the next layer. Now, when we decided to move to Napier, I bought this absolutely beautiful book. Napier is the art deco capital of New Zealand. In 1931, there was an earthquake that leveled a lot of the city. I know, not so great. But when they rebuilt, the buildings were created in the art deco style, which is absolutely glamorous. I love it. It's such an ornate and beautiful style. And the Art Nouveau is part of this beautiful, glamorous style. So when we wanted to head to beautiful Napier, I bought this book, which I think I bought it on Amazon because I needed something visual to actually hang on to and make a statement of, yes, we're heading in this direction. It took quite a few months and it was a really difficult process for us to move here to get this apartment. So to put one of these images in the fabulous art journal page today is a real celebration. It's a real... Mm, statement of gratitude absolutely because I am so grateful that we're here in this glorious part of New Zealand the only problem is that I've got to decide now which of these beautiful images I want to use look how glorious they are what about this one this one would work it's the right colorings for our blue I'm liking this one I think maybe this one or this one that one would work that one would work too oh, man. Oh man, it's not going to be an easy choice, but I'm going to choose something from this beautiful book and put it on my page as a celebration and a statement of gratefulness. This one would look nice too. Maybe that one. Okay, let's start with that one. So what do you think? Aren't the images absolutely beautiful? I'm thinking this one goes really well with our blue background. And especially with all the texture, we might pull out some other colors and do some, a little bit of scumbling over the texture because that would look just amazing. Definitely the bronze. There must be some bronze in here somewhere. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think we're going to do that. She would fit really nicely there. Let's put her there. And then I'm thinking on the other side, we could add this other picture. It's really beautiful too. What about somewhere like there, perhaps? And this one, oh, she just looks absolutely glorious. Oh, this one. I told you it would be hard to decide. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe this one because mm, perhaps the butterfly works well with the colors. Maybe baby, but it really wouldn't matter. Either of them would work really well, but I think we'll go with this one. We'll trim it off the side. We might even tear it down this way to get more of an organic line, I'm thinking. And we'll see how that's going to look. Now, I like to use matte medium when I'm creating my collage. I just like it. It's easy. I like the Liquitex matte gel medium because it's more cost efficient, that Liquitex basics brand. I put it in a little jar <laughs> so I can put the lid on when I'm finished. And I just find that it really does adhere everything that I want to stick down because I do really like texture so I tend to put a lot of it into my collages even in my art journal I use a lot of texture but yes the pages get big and fat and sometimes they don't want to close but I don't care <laughs> that's what the art journals for <laughs> creating art that I want to make Right, so she's down, she's looking beautiful. You can see all that texture underneath coming through the paper and I'm okay with that. She matches really well with the background and that makes me happy. Now, if you want to know the art materials that I'm using, you will find 
most of them <laughs> in the description under the video you'll also find discount code links to Kozo you'll find the link for the care December and you really should go on and have a look because it's a whole lot of fun just click the link and it'll take you there like magic now this one here it has a very textured section that I've just put the image over and the paper's not overly thick you can see all that beautiful texture coming through which I don't really mind but another thing that I like about using the matte gel medium is it keeps the paper nice and wet so then if you want to change something like I'm thinking perhaps I could uh, take off some of the paper from this textured part because the paper is so wet from the matte gel medium um, it's really easy to tear so you can change the shape even once you've stuck it down and I find that really helpful so if you put something down and you're not happy with it like I think it's a little bit too big then you can tear at the paper while the matte medium is still wet and it can change the shape really easy and I like being able to change things as we're going along that's the whole fun of intuitive collage you can change your mind <laughs> you can make it up as you go along you can put things down you can take things back off again it's a, a process of responding to the art materials as you put it down yet then you're deciding do I like it do I not like it and the matte medium gives you an opportunity because you've got a bit more time it stays wet longer so you can pull it back off or change it or pull some of it off or just rearrange the shape and that's really cool all right they're looking beautiful and I'm thinking we're going to add a little bit of sparkle onto the textured areas of the paper I'm thinking what about a little bit of halo violet gold or some bronze <laughs> we need a little bit of gold somewhere now to scumple paint means to put a little bit on the top of this texture to give it some highlight your page has to be dry first otherwise it doesn't just scratch across the top it seeps into the paint if it's wet so I've got a little bit of the golden beautiful iridescent bronze fine <laughs> and I'm going to just put some lightly on the top of this glorious texture just to pick it up and to highlight some areas the bronze is going to look really beautiful with this blue and scumbling or just putting it scratching it really across the top of the texture just enhances the beautiful pattern and adds some of that glorious bronze to the page yes I love it it's looking beautiful remember your page has to be dry first that looks beautiful it also is going to match with some of the colors there in the image because of her beautiful golden locks <laughs> now I did pull out some copper and some gold if I want to add some of those colors as well but I'm just not too sure until I have a little bit of a play if I want to do that or if I just want to add the bronze because the texture is so beautiful and the image is glorious it really doesn't need much now if you put too much on which is quite possible you can easily just wipe it straight off again with a uh, baby wipe or a damp cloth because your page is nice and dry it's really easy to take it back off again I know right it's like magic <laughs> the bronze is looking just beautiful I love the way the threads are coming down here what about if we put a little bit of bronze on those threads and then sprayed it would it make it like run in the right direction <laughs> I don't know man let's try it we got nothing to lose really we can always just wipe it back off if we don't like it but we do like it oh yeah baby that's gonna work I'm loving that it catches on the threads
That looks pretty cool. Righto, we'll leave that like that. We won't get too carried away. The beautiful part about the golden iridescent bronze fine, when you spray it, it releases the patina, which is like a greeny kind of color. And that's gonna work with the blue shades as well. Just a little bit more on the threads down to the bottom here. And then I think we'll leave this page alone because it's looking really nice. Remember, if you do get carried away, you can just wipe it off again with a tissue. Yes, I do it a fair bit. <laughs> I think the way the threads comes down like that is really kind of amplifying the lines of her hair. The way they're flowing down, that's pretty cool. I like that. That worked out really well. See, I planned that. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, what will we put on the other side? Will we add the bronze or should we get adventurous and add the copper? There's more of a warm tone in that image, so we possibly could add the copper. So I grabbed a clean dry brush and doing exactly the same process with these beautiful textures, although this one's a little bit wet because it still has some of the matte medium on it. Not to worry. The areas where it's dry, it'll pick it up really nicely and the copper's working really well. I like that because this image has got more of that warmer tone to it. The copper's going to look fabulous. And it will be nice just to have them a little bit different. Same, same, but different. It's gonna look great. Oh yeah, look at the copper tone coming down into that deep blue, man. That's looking beautiful. I might even do a little bit onto the image just to blend it in some more. I added a little bit more white pearlescent acrylic ink down this side just to blend the image more into the background texture and I added a little bit of bronze into the copper. It's looking rather glamorous and that really suits the Art Nouveau feel of the images. It's just fabulous. Thank you Kasha for creating this art class. It has really helped me this week to find my groove again after my huge upheaval. <laughs> moving across the country. I'm really enjoying these fabulous videos. So make sure you get on and check out the link in the description under the video. I know you're going to enjoy this class as much as I have and I hope to see your collages. Hashtag Care December in Instagram or Facebook. It's always so exciting to see what everybody else creates. So come and join me again next week in my beautiful brand new studio in Napier and we'll see what we're getting up to. It's going to be the new year soon. How exciting is that? Yay! New plans, new projects, new art classes, new creative adventures. <laughs> There's so much to look forward to. I'm so excited for the year ahead. It's going to be my best year yet. And I really hope you're going to be along for the ride with me.